Hey, good morning. Got another great verse. This one is kind of uh, a good thing. It's a good good verse to hear, but there's definitely some revelation here. Um, and, you know, he, the way he puts it out there, this one he just threw right out there on my Bible app. It popped up. I was in prayer thinking, what do you want? You know, is there anything? You know, so he, he's giving us a little confidence boost here. Um, so this is Psalms 37.3. First, I'll read it the way we'll see it in most of our Bibles, then take every word back to its origin using the Strong's and the Lexicons. It's a pictographic language, the Lexicons, right, that the Bible was translated from. And I believe the original scriptures were perfect and true. And I believe he's preserved his word through this pictographic language. Uh, it's very multidimensional, spiritual, physical, all this. All right. So here we go. Psalms 37, 3. Trust in the Lord and do good, so thou shalt dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed. So there it is. Do good, so thou shalt dwell in the land, and, ver and verily thou shalt be fed. Okay, here we go. Psalms 37, 3. Trust and have confidence to be secure and feel safe. By seeking refuge and fleeing to Yahweh, Jehovah, the self-existent and eternal one true God, who came into being to establish and remain with his word in place and time, to break the cause of the fall. It's beautiful. Which is lusting after bodily appetites. That was the cause of the fall. That was the cause of the fall. Okay. Uh, to furnish and govern, to prepare man as a warrior and a workman, to produce a good and excellent yield, happy and prosperous, good men and women in word and deed, gracious and joyful, full of loving kindness, acting rightly, to reside in or inhabit, right? To inhabit their tab tabernacle permanently and ca causing them to rest by bearing their burdens in the land of Canaan, which means the land that has brought you down by a heavy load. And it, and it also means the promised land, right? But, it, but Canaan, the root of it means brought you down by a heavy load. And he's bearing our burden while we're here, right? Um, uh, into the land of the enemies of God. So we've been brought down into the land of the enemies of God, and we're burdened by a heavy load. Now he says, uh, rise up, rising up, so into the enemies of God. So he says, rise up to the promised land of the Israelites, having the power of a prince of God, becoming a true Israelite, because we're Gentiles when we're born into this world, idol, idol worshipers, lusting after bodily appetites. So, to be firm and secure by the truth that is faithfully established and confirmed by the shepherd feeding people as a flock of sheep to be a special friend and to keep company with them. There it is. There's that verse. So a lot more details in there, um, some spiritual revelation in there when you take every word back to its origin. And uh, the message that came on it, I know it was, you know, popped up on my Bible app, but I know it was for all of us. And this message here, it says, don't give up. God will keep you from all danger. Don't give up. Don't give up hope. Have faith. Have confidence in God. Rising us up into the land of the Israelites, having the power of a prince of God, right? To be firm by truth, established by truth, faithfully established and confirmed by the shepherd who feeds his people as a flock. It's beautiful. And that's what's happening here. It's what's happening. It's a beautiful thing. That's what's happening in this world here when you're born again of the spirit, because then he'll teach you and guide you and you can't get enough of his word. If you want to know him, truly know him, then you'll want to know his word. If you don't want to know his word, like most people don't, they just content going to church and being fed a few things, feel get their emotions, tug that, feel good, call themselves a Christian. Eh, must be born again of the spirit because God is spirit, must be worshiped in spirit 
and you must be born again spiritually, brought from a condition of death and condemnation and separation from God, back to being restored, uh, converted back to God through the gift of his Holy Spirit. The two, the two, right, must be reconciled, become one. And that's what Christ did through the gift of his Holy Spirit. Instead of following your own way and being indecisive and being led around by your flesh and deceived by Satan as well, you know, Christ comes into you and his Holy Spirit is the heart that revitalizes your soul and then you pass from a condition of death to life. Now you're a true Israelite. So there's that. It's a beautiful thing. All right. God bless. Have a great day. Love and respect everybody. Bye.